Hello everybody and welcome to our channel The Middle Path The Path which leads to liberation Here we are back with another video In this video I'll discuss why human rights are a matter of concern in India Before that let's know what human right actually means Human rights are the basic fundamental rights and freedom that every person on this earth has from the birth till the death. The basic human rights include the right to equality, freedom from discrimination, right to life, liberty, personal security, freedom from slavery, freedom from torture and degrading treatment, equality before the law, right to marriage, family, property, religion and education. Human rights help in full development of humans. Universal Declaration of Human Human rights protect the rights of every individual all over the world. 193 countries around the world have agreed on the freedoms and rights that deserve universal protection in order for every individual to live their lives freely, equally and in dignity. The United Nations that was established on 26 June 1945 adopted Universal Declaration of Human Rights due to the barbaric act that is the World War II that outraged the conscience of humankind. But even before Universal Declaration of Human Rights, we come across many reforms in history for human rights. In Indian history, we can see many social reformers who have fought for the basic human rights. To name few, Gautama Buddha, who is also known as the Light of Asia, 2500 years ago, that is in 5th century before Christ era, he brought equality and opposed the Varna system that existed in his period. According to Buddha, everyone born in this planet are equal. He fought for the equality of not just men and women, but for all living creatures on this earth. Basavanna, who was a 12th century reformer, fought against the inequality that existed in his time. He fought for the equality of men and women. He also was against the Varna and caste system, Vedic superstitions and rituals. He promoted inter-caste marriages. The Vedic religion was unequal and so Basavanna found a new liberal religion in which equality and freedom was reached. Jyotiba Phule fought to eradicate caste system and untouchability. He was the first to establish schools for women and for the people of lower strata. Shahu Maharaj initiated many policies for the non-Brahmins who were oppressed for so many generations. The most important policies initiated by him are the policies of reservation in his administration. Dr. Ambedkar was the greatest defender of human rights in India. He was the foremost human rights rights activist during the last centuries. He spoke on the annihilation of caste and his was an endless struggle. Periyar E. V. Ramasamy fought against the caste and gender inequalities. He fought for the self-respect of everybody. Narayana Guru fought against the caste system and he also fought for the self-respect. As we can see that the common factor that we can observe between all these social reformers is that they fought against Brahmanism which was the main reason for patriarchy, practice of untouchability, human sacrifice, sati, caste discrimination, superstition, exploitation and irrationalism that existed in Indian society. These humanist thinkers fought for the same cause which was to uproot Brahmanism. In India, due to this Brahmanical practices, the human rights are not yet achieved yet. Now, it has been almost 73 years since India got independence and yet India's majority population has not achieved its basic human rights yet. The scheduled caste, scheduled tribes, other backward castes, minorities and women are oppressed even today on the basis of caste and gender. All Indians are not treated equal. Though the constitution exists, Manusmriti is followed to great extent. People might say that caste is outdated. It does not exist anymore. But however forward a person might be, when it comes to marriage, endogamy can be still a observed till date, which is the base of caste system. We can see instances such as honor killing, child marriage, intercaste marriage conflicts, Dalit rapes, exploitation, discrimination, untouchability and mob lynching. The government has failed to uphold the human rights. I'd like to give an example. In India, two persons earning the same amount of money are not treated equal as the caste matters. A scheduled caste earning 2000 rupees is totally different 
from a brahmin earning the same amount of money though they both contribute equally to the economy but the caste differentiations in india is very rude despite the manual scavenging prohibition act of 1993 manual scavenging continues to kill the sanitation workers since the last 6 years human rights violations have reached peaks from the kashmir 370 where whole kashmir was detained to the nrc and caa which would take away the citizenship of crores of indians the laws made by bjp government is against the people it is clear that bjp government has failed to enforce human rights the sc st prevention of atrocity act is diluted since generations the sc st obc and minorities have been subjected to indignities humiliations and harassments the reservations were given for the social and educational equality of these oppressed classes but the reservation has been taken away under the article 19 of indian constitution freedom of speech and expression is ensured india has the right to peaceful protest but the government tries to call the farmers who feed the whole country as terrorists khalistanis naxalites congressi anti nationals deshdrohi tukde tukde gang pakistani chinese etc the farmers who protested peacefully were treated very cruelly the cruel use of water cannon amidst the cold winters and the tear gas shells that were fired by the police at the protesting farmers in the singu border the three agricultural laws that were passed by modi government are a real death to the farmers the government used jammers on 8 december 2020 between the protests as the bharat band was to trend in social media as the mainstream media however wants to willfully ignore this issue india has faced the largest internet shutdown under the modi government india's media is facing credibility crisis and is failing in its duty the godi media does not uphold the public interest the privatization process that was started by the congress government is leading to the unstable living standards all the psus have been privatized by this government this is taking away the right to employment and is degrading the living standards which is again a violation of human rights it is destroying the lives of poor and the middle class people the yogi adi the nath government in uttar pradesh has passed the anti conversion law right to religion in india is fundamental right anti conversion law violates the basic structure of constitution which is unconstitutional it is atrocious what this government is doing countries around the world have banned electronic voting machines but india is using it for the elections which is unlawful and so modi is so adamant in not talking back to the farmers as he is winning these elections through the electronic voting machine he is not worried about the people the government is harassing the honest journalists who question the government the mainstream media which is also known as the fourth pillar of democracy has lost its credibility the executive judiciary legislation and the institutions like election commission cbi and the rbi are under this government india is facing an economic crisis. crisis and is bankrupt amidst this corona crisis is it really necessary for the modi government to build a new parliament thus i would like to conclude that majority of human rights are violated in india and if this continues to happen harmony cannot exist in this society it is time again for us to fight for our human rights and save democracy human rights violation leads to suffering and if a man is suffering he cannot live his life happy happily and peacefully even if a human doesn't get the human rights he cannot think about anything else he would not bother about the family neighbors state country forest environment pollution world hunger about all the other living creatures as he himself would be under suffering human rights implementation is the only solution so in india for the human rights to be implemented the main reforms that has to be brought in are the annihilation of caste superstitions gender inequalities discrimination that takes place in our society human rights are inalienable and should not be taken away thank you for watching my video till end if you like my work please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss a video